Hi all, I have another incredible game of Leela Chess to show you today. Leela was playing against Fizbo 1.9. Fizbo on some rating lists for engines is ranked as high as 7. For example, the CCRL uh, 40 list. So let's see what happened in this game. This was in the Chesscon Blitz Battle, 5 minutes with a 2 second increment. D4 from Leela. We have D5, C4, and Fizbo plays the Queen's Gamut accepted. E3, Bishop E6. This looks a little bit on the artificial side, hemming in this bishop. Maybe this is uh, something which kind of lower rated over the board players might be tempted to cling on to the pawn. It's surprising that uh, Fizbo is playing like this because it is hemming in the king side a bit. More usual is knight f6 and just letting white recapture that pawn freely to play for c5 with an even position. So strange move here bishop e6 knight f3 knight f6 knight c3 and leader is making no attempt at the moment to try and regain that pawn uh, we have c6 but now here knight g5 hitting the e6 bishop queen c8 bishop e2 we have bishop f5 in this position so finally letting go of that pawn but actually leader is playing e4 here first after bishop g6 again, now with the e4 vulnerable to h6, if black has a move now after bishop takes then h6 and that pawn is loose. So here, leader actually plays f4 with the idea of f5 to trap this bishop on g6. This is, real, uh, this is a real problem piece here. We have e6 trying to prevent f5. But now, guess what leader plays in this position? Uh, so it looks as though black's on the brink of just kicking this knight back and then taking on e4. And white doesn't really want to play e5 either because then knight d5, for example, it looks okay for, for black. So guess uh, what Leela plays in this position. If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay. g4, yeah, with the idea of f5. A really nice array of pawns here we have h6 f5 now if black took uh black actually took here if black takes that knight this is really horrible look at black's pawn structure treble pawns this is not desirable at all and concretely if we look at e5 queen c2 hitting g6 this is just so dangerous let's say bishop e7 white can castle even and it's just suffering for black hair, big suffering. Well, it's massively better. So, ah, uh, yeah, f5 is uh, very interesting. So, just hitting that bishop. We have e takes, and now g takes here. Bishop takes f5, and now knight takes f7, hitting that rook. We have king takes f7 in this position. Uh, if we look at this, this in this position, if bishop takes e4, which you might think counters uh, against the rook, in fact, knight takes here, this uh, is even, but uh, on <clears throat> instead, on bishop takes e4, white can actually play much stronger with bishop takes c4, because after bishop takes h1, we have this nasty check. Then if bishop e7, then there's knight d6 check winning the queen. And you might think, well, what if the king moves? Just out of interest. Then check here, and then check there, and then taking the queen. So that's all pretty nasty stuff. Bishop takes e4 is not working in this variation. Knight takes e4, we just take the rook. So, yeah, knight takes f7, we have king takes. E takes, and now white is threatening bishop takes c4 check so that that pawn is held here on queen takes f5 taking on c4 is very pleasant for whites in, in fact with queen b3 this is just nasty very nasty white's got a big advantage so b5 finally clinging on officially to that c pawn <laughs> that c4 pawn white castles holding the f5 pawn king g8 bishop f3 we have knight bd7 yeah, there might be things like knight takes b5 here, for example. So at least the queen is now protecting the rook. Queen
queen c2 but look at black's kingside there's big congestion here knight b6 bishop f4 queen d7 bishop e5 b4 we have knight e4 bishop e7 now queen g2 a nice gliding move threatening to use that pin with knight takes f6 so f6 is protected just to put that on the board if say a5 then we just play bishop takes f6 and if bishop takes f6 here yeah that's a disaster knight takes f6 check so the knight comes to support f6 knight in this position after knight supporting uh the other knight knight bd5 we have actually bishop e2 so that looks at taking on c4 now uh black played king f8 here so that unpins at least if we look at knight e3 just for the record here uh attacking the queen and the rook and supporting the c4 pawn white actually has strong moves either it's such a strong position either with queen g3 which might be the strongest in this particular position for example here just taking on c4 check taking here this is just really strong for white uh black is in no position really to do much here for example this big advantage and even uh queen g6 here is strong so say queen e8 knight takes uh rook f3 this is just really strong for white as well it's just a phenomenal position here so black plays king f8 and now uh leader is not really that worried actually about knight e3 at all and just plays rook a e1 positively inviting knight e3 here so that's kind of technically winning the exchange but from a, a poor position so it doesn't really change the picture that much leader actually plays queen g6 here and she's going to be getting this c4 pawn uh, after knight takes we have bishop takes c4 inserted threatening a checkmate so before that recapture of the knight queen e8 which seems to parry that and the idea is really revealed here after rook takes f1 it's a positional idea a more long-term uh, thing about this position the knight's pinned to g7 here you know if knight takes then there's queen takes g7 it's checkmate but after queen takes g6 this knight is pinned absolutely against the king now so black's in a bit of a bind here we have rook d8 being played uh it seems if king e8 actually uh white can play knight takes then takes here and then g7 and that's winning material winning a rook so uh so here rook d8 is played and now Lula just reinforces that form pawn on g6 yes the dreaded form pawn on g6 here and if you know the rook is just ignored because white's got such a bind here so just h5 ignoring the offering of the rook uh it will probably help black a little bit you know taking but it's still probably okay for white but it's uh white's got a big advantage but why 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 relieve that uh tying down here so h5 we have rook d7 bishop e6 the rook drops back uh yeah it turns out here this this is really bad if king e8 knight takes f6 check this position uh white's just winning material so the rook steps back we have knight g3 so yeah what can black actually do here the bishop pair is very nice here look at these two bishops in both directions loads of pressure nice pin beautiful position really uh, a5 so even though the exchange down look <laughs> clearly black's got a huge problems knight f5 we have rook h8 the rook just going back to its start square now that pawn is targeted yeah rook c6 targeting the c6 pawn so and that's just left it's just left to, to be taken rook takes c6 knight d5 and now rook a6 black's really uh, just spectating here spectator pieces so another pawn dropping bishop g5 we have the rook coming to the seven franc and black has to shield the sensitive squares knight e7 is played on bishop f6 for example well bishop d6 check is just one way of winning on bishop e7 then bishop takes d5 and this is just crushing 
so uh, it's pretty helpless here knight e7 we have that pin anyway bishop d6 this is just desperate now b3 that's taken yeah black's just tied up in knots gives back the exchange <laughs> a bit too late uh, to do anything really bishop takes d4 rook d7 and threatening rook d8 chatmate bishop b6 king f3 rook h8 is pretty humiliating the king just comes up the board bishop c4 rook h8 b4 rook g8 and now the pawns are gonna just take that bishop away from the d8 square <laughs> and then basically deliver checkmate but black plays this to delay things this knight takes g6 so that renews <laughs> the, the mating that everything okay so uh h5 we have check and now rook f5 discovered check and mate a cruel sadistic game from Leela with that very very powerful exchange sacrifice just casually allowing that knight e3 move earlier so amazing stuff if you enjoyed the game as much as me then please click the top left box which should appear pretty sh soon and you can become a member at chassmold.net I could invite you for games you can also play against other youtubers and you can also check the analysis from the improved menu uh, learn from the masters all the analysis for these videos is put there in advance and often edited as well for improvements later so check that out okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much